Here I'd like to show you how to build a bar graph with the custom arrow bars. And I made an example of the yogurt run test, trail traveled in millimeters, for three replicates. And I'd like to know the mean and standard deviation of those. To calculate the mean, I will use the average formula. Click enter. Then to populate this formula into the next two columns, I will find this black cross symbol and drag it. So it will populate, as you can see, the average will populate into the next column. To calculate the standard deviation, I will use the formula standard diff and select my data one more time. Click enter and black cross, drag it across. Now I would like to build a bar graph. To do so, I will click insert, go over here and select this bar graph. It's empty now, so I want to select the data. Data range. My data range will be the means. The name of my graph will be the fact of heating time. And the uh, axis labels are the time heating. To delete the horizontal lines, I just select them so you can see the blue dots here and click delete button. Now I would like to create arrow bars from the standard deviations I just calculated. For this, I will go to add chart element, click on arrow bars. Sometimes you will not see this option, which means you either on a web version of Excel, which doesn't have this option, or you need to update your Excel, which you could do by going into Help and Download Update. And this option is supposed to pop up. You click on this and select Custom, Specify Value. And now we select all three standard deviations for the plus and for the minus. Click OK. As you could see, my arrow bars are custom, different for each bar. They've been populated. What I'd like to add to this bar graph is a label for the y-axis, which I could do by going to axis titles, primary vertical, and I can label my x. And here we go. Now I can calculate the results of the statistics in the next.